it's time to improve your relationship with money. Hey, what's up? This is Pete here and welcome to another video here on YouTube. Today's topic is a little different though and uh, one that I'd love for you to stick around till the end because I'm gonna be sharing my views on this one thing that not everybody likes to talk about and especially share on YouTube. Today though, I'm not sharing as an expert. I'm sharing really as a researcher in my own life of my own philosophies, uh, my own experiences and I guess the stories that I've created in my life about money because like it or not the one thing that we all need to survive on this planet is money i'm gonna get into it i'm gonna share exactly my thoughts and feelings around it and then let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet do that now and in the meantime it's showreel Money, do we love it? Do we not have enough of it? Has it been kind to us? Do we feel that it's been taken away from us? This video is very different to any other video I've done yet here on YouTube. I just wanna be real with you over the next five or six minutes. As I've already mentioned, speak really just from a place of my own philosophies, my own understanding of what our relationship with money is all about. The reason why this video is called how to improve your relationship with money is because money is never the problem. Our relationship with money is. Sure enough, we can always want more money. We can want to have an increase in salary or to have a, a big win on a scratch card. But at the end of the day, there are people who, no matter how much money you give them, they're gonna spend it all. And there's equally people that, even if all the money was taken away from them in the world, they would still be able to rebuild. Sure enough, there are a combination of factors that, that come into play. But very simply put, I believe, and this is purely my belief, that money is like a friend. And if you speak abusively to your friend, if you complain about your friend, is your friend gonna stick around? Is your friend going to say, hey, yeah, I'm here, I'm gonna bring my you know, loads more to the party? No. But when we think about the majority of people who struggle with money, they use exceptionally negative language. And by the way, the only reason why I can share this with you is because when it comes to money, I've made every mistake possible. And one of those mistakes was speaking negatively about money. I mean it from a, a place of the, oh, I don't have enough, I don't wanna check my bank account. Oh, the banks are greedy, look, they're charging me interest on my overdraft. And every time I spoke negatively about money, I found that I struggled more with money. It was only when one day I stopped myself, and it was almost a spiritual moment, and I said, hold on a second, I wouldn't speak this way to my best friend. Money is there all the time. When you're sat by yourself looking at your laptop at you know, a bill that you need to pay or uh, you've got to pay rent, rent is due, you need money until we can flip the switch from speaking negatively about money to speaking more positively, we will never improve the relationship that we have with money. They say that money is the highest cause of divorce, and it's no surprise, but it doesn't need to be. There are couples who have made it through financial turmoil, and they become stronger than ever for it. There are people that have started businesses together, and then it hasn't worked out, but they still remain great friends. But unfortunately, there are so many people that have allowed friendships to end because of money. Money is not the problem. It is our philosophy. It is our stories around money. And mostly it's how we feel about money. When you think about money in your life, do you have a sense of inspiration and wow? And sure enough, we all may have that temporarily, but I'm talking about what you most consistently feel. Again, I'm speaking from a place that I've experienced in my life where I was waking up every single day anxious and I had anxiety about where's the money gonna come from? I just started my business and it took me a long time to develop that trust, to develop that real, true internal confidence, to know that even if I didn't have 
any clients on my books right now or had a clear month that I would still figure out a way to create the money. They say that it doesn't matter how much money you're given in your life. If your relationship is poor with money, you will find a way to sabotage it. You'll find a way to spend it all or get rid of it all. My dad gave me a great example when I was younger. He had a guy that worked for him and he worked crazy hours. And he pretty much ran my dad's company for him. And I said to my dad in my 12 years of infinite wisdom, I said, dad, why don't you pay this staff member a lot more money because his only complaint in life that I hear him talk about is money. And my dad looked at me and I'll never forget this conversation. He said, son, I can pay him a million pounds a year, but he will still have no money. I don't think my dad had a million pound at all to give him, let alone a million pound per year. He said, he will never have money because he's broken here. And I said to my dad, what do you mean? He said, well, when you're broken here, son, you, it doesn't matter what you have, you'll find a way to spend it. You see, there are broke people behaviors. And equally, there are rich people behaviors. Just, you're on YouTube, just go and look at all these videos done on the top 20 habits of billionaires or the top 10 steps to become a millionaire. They're all out there and they're predictable. But I wanna go deeper today and really challenge the relationship that you have with money as a human being. Because if you're waking up every single day and you're feeling anxious like I was, I can, I can promise you that that is not gonna help you overcome uh, the challenges that you have with money. It's flipping the switch. And even if money isn't showing up in your life, when it does, that you have gratitude for it. And you say, wow, this money can drive me forward. I remember finding a 1P on, on a, um, at the gym on the steps. I'm like, wow. Money is coming into my life, how great is this? That law of attraction then brought in more money. By the time I got to like a month later, I had a PPI claim that came in. I had a pretty good windfall of money at that time. Over the years, I still self-sabotage over and over again because instead of realizing that I am valuable, I looked for other things to make me feel that value. I looked externally. Every time I had money, that money was already spent. Over time and through a lot of work and self-development and meditation, I was able to change my belief from that I need to spend everything I make. I went from not making barely anything most of my life to making very, very good money through my business. I was able to go from that negative relationship to a more positive relationship. What I noticed was that I didn't need to buy impulsively. Now it's not perfect, but I'm able to balance things a lot more easily, look at money more logically, and not have this fear. One of the ways that you can start overcoming your fear of money today, if you have that fear, is to look at your bank account every single day. That means even if you're on the last penny of your overdraft, look at your bank account. Start to take full responsibility for the money that you have or do not have. Tap into your true potential by seeing when you don't have the money, that, hey, I can build something here, I can start a business, or I can go out and add more value to the world. But a lot of people play the blame game when they don't have money. They say, it's your fault, or you took that opportunity away from me, or you did this to me. And that only exemplifies that you have a bad relationship with money. Everything goes in patterns. There's no such thing as one person who scammed you, or one person who screwed you over. Because if you don't change the relationship with money, that person is gonna show up time and time again. They'll just have a different name and they'll have a different face, but the situation will be the same. So I want you to think about your life right now and the relationship with, that you have with money. Whether you have 100 million in the bank or you're on the last pound of your overdraft, do you see money as a friend? or is it an enemy to be overcome? Because I can tell you every single day that it's an enemy, it's not gonna reward you. Every day that you see it as a friend and you work with it, Oprah said it the best. She has a beautiful relationship with money and that's why she believes that money has always found her. In your life, think about this. Do you see money as a friend or is it the enemy? Because every money technique available to you means nothing if money is not your friend. Thank you for joining me on today's video and I'll see you tomorrow.